you burn yourself every single time you reach for that cast iron skillet, don't you? Yeah, me too, my friend. That's why I finally just made myself a heat resistant handle. This is gonna be a willy nilly project, okay? You're just gonna draw out your pattern. Trace it about an inch away from, oh, oh. Anyways, uh, an inch away from your handle and then cut that out to use as your pattern. And you're gonna use that to cut out two main pieces two pieces of insulbrite, and then two pieces of lining fabric. The first part of our sewing, you're gonna lay down the insulbrite, then you're gonna lay down one of the outside pieces of fabric, then the other outside piece of fabric, right side down, and then the other piece of insulbrite. Pin it all together, and listen, yeah, it may not be completely even. That's okay. Some projects that you do, you kind of let go of the perfectionism. You just gotta get it done. Sew around the edges, but leave the bottom open. Voila. Now do the same for the lining fabric. Place them right sides together, but leave an opening for the bottom, yes, but also leave an opening for the side. Aren't you having so much fun? Because you're not going to be in just a second. You'll see why, but first let's trim off some of that excess so we can actually get the lining over the main part of our dingy majig. What's it called again? Cast iron skillet handle cover? That's a mouthful. Um, turn it right side out, obviously, and then I, I don't know where my wooden dowel went, so sometimes you just gotta use what you got at home, so I used a straw to smooth it all We're out. We're gonna do our best to shimmy and shake that lining over this. It looks like it's going very smoothly right now, but I promise. It was a struggle, but not as much of a struggle as this is. We're gonna sew the edge here. I'm not gonna lose you at this part. Don't give up on me when you start trying this. My tip is to go slow and push the top of the fabric out of the way as you sew. Are you still there? Great. You're gonna pull the main handle out of that side opening. Fold the opening of the edge inward, and then we're gonna sew that together, but I like to give a press first. Just make sure that those edges stay in there while sewing. And then we're pretty much done. You're gonna push the lining in the pot holder hand. <laughs> the what? <laughs> the skillet handle? I don't know. Anyways, here's to no longer burning our hands and happy sewing.